they're looking okay, uh, but we've still got curly leaves. They've definitely grown, so that's a positive. Let's have a closer look. Hello, my name's Ian. Welcome back to the Grow Zone. We are back with our RDWC41S from Grow Rilla Hydroponics. As you can see, our tomatoes have grown. Um, these are a small variety, and I don't think they're going to get much bigger than this. Uh, as you might also notice, we still have a problem with some curling leaves. We are going to do something about that today. If you want to see the original video of this, uh, where we diagnosed our first problem, um, then check it out. I'll leave a card and put the thumbnail up for you so you can recognize the video. We are going to swap the water out today from the RDWC. I have a bin behind me with pre-warmed water so the temperature shock isn't too much for the plants and we're going to mix our nutrients in there and we're going to introduce some calcium magnesium supplement or CalMag as it's commonly known. taking the last couple of litres out now and as you can hear that's the pump running nearly dry okay we've uh, taken all the water out and just um, wanted to show you uh, some roots and the fact that it's empty there's a, a bit of water left in the bottom of the buckets um, that's okay that's all we can get out for now and um, we are going to go over to our new water here, give it a quick test to see what it's doing, add our nutrients and get our CalMag in to specification. Okay, so we've added our nutrients tripart from Terra Aquatica to our water here. Uh, we've calculated for 50 litres and we have jumped to the flowering stage on the hydroponics feed chart. If you want to get a better look at the feed chart, we actually redesigned it because we think that their feed chart is a bit confusing. Check out the link in the description um, and see what you think. So we have grow, micro and bloom. And there's been a few comments here and there on, on um, previous videos uh, and they all point towards CalMag as being the problem for curling leaves and some stunted growth and some crispy leaves. And we'll get a close up of, of some of those problems for you over the top. So we are going to add calcium magnesium supplement from Terra Aquatica. And I just want to read the back of the bottle for you. TA calcium magnesium supplement provides concentrated calcium and magnesium in a highly bioavailable, clean and soluble form that will not clog drippers. Um, that tells me that it's also good for RDWCs, recirculating with pumps involved and other bits of hoses. We are going to add 1.5 milliliters per liter and then pump it back into our RDWC and we'll see you there. Okay, so I'm just going to get my length of garden hose I cut from outside. If you want to see how we did this the last time, we're going to take the pump from the reservoir, add it to our new water, pump it across. Check out the video. There's a thumbnail. I'll add a card at the top. Uh, so we've jumped to the flowering stage of Tripart from Terra Aquatica. And the other thing we need to adjust uh, because of that is our light. This is a SF1000 Spider Farmer. We are going to go up a little bit in height, aiming for around 30 centimeters ish from the highest plant, which is this guy. And we're also going to shorten the schedule. So we're as if we're shortening the daylight hours. So we're going from 15 hours on to 12 hours on in light. And we're going to go to full intensity. So 100% on the dimmer dial on the side here. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for details on this or a write up, According to Google, we have one of the best articles on growing tomatoes with an LED light indoors. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, I'm just gonna put the pump back in here now. Um, if you haven't seen the reason why we're using CalMag, go and check out the video. This one. <laughs> and um, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> 